Joint Award of Petroleum Service Contracts and Coal Operating Contracts in the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao. To formally begin our program, may we call on Energy Secretary Rafael Lutilia to deliver his opening remarks. Mr. President, members of the cabinet, our distinguished leaders and officials from the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao, ladies and gentlemen, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A warm welcome to the signing of the Intergovernmental Energy Board Circular on the Joint Award of Petroleum and Coal Contracts within the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao. Mr. President, pursuant to your instructions on the implementation of the Bangsamoro Organic Law, this circular will empower the national and Bangsamoro agencies of government to jointly grant rights and concessions for the development and utilization of indigenous and conventional energy sources within the jurisdictional extent of the Bangsamoro. By clarifying the legal framework, the circular allows the region to leverage its energy resources and attract investments. On behalf of the technical working group and officials of the Department of Energy, I wish to extend our thanks to our counterparts in the BARM and its Ministry of Environment, Natural Resources and Energy, led by Minister Brahim, for their utmost cooperation to Executive Secretary Lucas Bersamin and Chief Minister Ahud Ebrahim, and to the chairpersons of the intergovernmental body, Secretary Amina Pangandaman and Minister Mohakar Iqbal, we wish to extend our thanks for the strong support that you have given to the process that culminated in the circular today. This is an important step towards progress in Mindanao, and possibly the establishment of another energy resource center in the Philippines. I am optimistic that a strong collaborative relationship between the DOE and MENRE will continue as we move forward with the implementation of this joint circular. Mr. President, next on our prior energy uh, joint priority is the upgrading of electricity infrastructure and services in the BARM provinces. We are confident that as you pursue your diplomatic initiatives in the energy capitals of the Middle East, the energy development needs of the BARM will form part of your agenda. We commit ourselves to work towards the success of energy development in the BARM and in the rest of the Philippines under your leadership. Maraming salamat po at mabuhay tayong lahat. Salam. Thank you, Secretary Lutilia. May we call on BARM Chief Minister Ahod Ebrahim to deliver his message. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mr. President and cabinet members, and uh, guests, I am delighted to join you today for the ceremonial signing of the Inter Intergovernmental Energy Board Circular on the Joint Awarding of Petroleum Service Contracts and Coal Operating Contracts in the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region. This initiative manifests the unwavering commitment of the Government of the Philippines and the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region to work together to sustain the dividends of the peace process, this endeavor will indeed mark a new age of development for the Bangsamoro people at a time when we are sailing across the transition period. The signing of the important document on the energy sector that establishes the policies and guidelines for the joint exercise of the Bangsamoro government and the national government is another milestone, not only advancing energy security in the Bangsamoro, but also having a positive effect on our growing economy. 
I commend the members of the Technical Working Group on Upstream Conventional Energy Resource Development and the Intergovernmental Energy Board under the steadfast chairmanship of Energy Secretary Rafael Lutelia of the National Government and Minister Ahmad Brahim of the Bangsamoro Government. Your joint efforts in realizing this document are noteworthy. Indeed, your service in materializing this blueprint in the energy sector is a very important step in transforming the lives of all Bangsamoro. As you are all aware, this undertaking is part of the 12-point priority agenda of the government of the day in ensuring that there is adequate, clean, environmentally friendly, and secured energy across the Bangsamoro. I also would like to take this opportunity to thank our beloved President, President Marcos, for his support to the Bangsamoro people in realizing our fullest potential and in the realization of our long-held determination to attain peace, secure development, and ensure progress in the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region. As we witness the ceremonial signing of this circular, let us renew our commitment to continue building a cohesive, empowered, and progressive Bangsamoro Autonomous Region. One that is centered on moral governance, I am hopeful that after this, the concerned agencies will carry on fulfilling the deliverables of the board circular. Let us work together to power thousands of houses and workplaces across our beloved homeland. Let us fulfill our mandates for the Bangsamoro people by uplifting and transforming their lives with positive developments. Let us join hands in creating an energy secure Bangsamoro. Sukran wa billahi tawfiq wal hidayah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Thank you, Chief Minister Ibrahim. At this point, we shall now proceed with the ceremonial signing. May we invite Mr. President to witness the ceremonial signing of the Intergovernmental Energy Board Circular on the Joint Award of Petroleum Service Contracts and Coal Operating Contracts in the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region of Muslim Mindanao to be signed by Energy Secretary Rafael Lutilia and Menre Minister Ahmad Brahim. Mr. President, and congratulations to the Department of Energy in Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao. At this juncture, may we invite the President to give us a message. Uh, Secretary Popo Lutilia, uh, other members of the Cabinet, uh, of course our partner in the peace process, Chief Minister Abud Ibrahim, Minister Ahmad, uh, Minister Ahmad Ibrahim, and other ministers of the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region of, of Muslim Mindanao, my fellow workers in government, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Today, we gather for a momentous occasion as it is the ceremonial signing of the Joint Circular prescribing the guidelines on the Joint Award of Petroleum Service Contracts and Coal Operating Contracts in the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region of Muslim Mindanao. The objectives of these guidelines are clear and they are resolute. 
They aim to facilitate the robust growth of the energy sector in the BARM and attract vital investments to the area. In fostering a level playing field, we create an environment that encourages local and foreign investors to actively participate in the exploration and development of the BARM's energy resources. Through this, we promote economic growth, generate employment opportunities, and nurture a thriving business landscape in the region. As conscientious custodians of our env environment and natural heritage, we possess a profound awareness of the significance of safeguarding our invaluable natural resources and preserving the holistic well-being of our communities. Therefore, it is essential to underscore that the guidelines shall also serve as a safeguard in ensuring the strict adherence of all exploration and development activities to rigorous regulations and industry-leading best practices. These guidelines demonstrate our resolute commitment to responsible stewardship, ecological sustainability, and the cultivation of a vibrant energy sector. As we uphold these principles, we forge a path towards a future where resource utilization is in harmony with environmental preservation and economic advancement, social equity for all. The national government remains fully committed to working hand in hand with the Bangsamoro government in its journey for sustained progress. The Bangsamoro Organic Law empowers both the national and the Bangsamoro government to jointly grant rights, privileges, and concessions for the exploration, development, and utilization of uranium and fossil fuels within BARM. This collaborative endeavor stands as an unwavering testament to our firm commitment to unify and to, to unity and to our unwavering cooperation with BARM as we unlock the vast and untapped potential of the region. Considering the challenges of the depleting Malampaya Reservoir and volatile fossil fuel prices, it is crucial to take this decisive action, re reigniting petroleum exploration and fostering the development of indigenous energy resources. Ensuring security and self-sufficiency of our nation's energy supply is not an option, it is an imperative, a solemn duty to our people, our nation, and future generations. And finally, we see very much that the autonomous regions of Muslim Mindanao are part of the development process of the Philippines. And uh, we, have, we have heard the expression many, many times that uh, Mindanao is the promised land except for the peace and security situation that prevailed in the past. Well, this is the beginning of that fulfillment of that promise. The reserves that have been, uh, uh, that have been identified in the area have been an enormous asset that we have been unable to exploit, not only for the, not, not only for the, for, for the Republic of the Philippines, but certainly for the autonomous region. And it, did, it, it was not an easy process. It, is a, it took a great deal of hard work from both sides, from the national government, and certainly from our uh, transition authority in the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region. And the reason why, why this is, is because in a, very, in a very real sense, we are inventing a new system of government between the national government and the autonomous region and the relationship between the national government uh, uh, in principle are quite, is quite clear. However, how that translates down to the work of government and the different departments and agencies of the national government together, hand in hand, with the agencies in uh, the autonomous region is uh, something that we are only now beginning to define. We had uh, hoped to have it done by now, but the pandemic intervened and pushed back all our schedules at the very least two years. But now, with again the hard work that has been put in and the sincere dedication and a commitment to true development in the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region, 
I am very, very, I am very, very happy that we have arrived at this day. So we begin to exploit the riches that are that truly belong to the autonomous region of Muslim Mindanao and certainly to the national government. By harnessing the enormous energy potential within BARM, we will reduce our reliance on external sources, mitigate the detrimental impacts of price, price fluctuations, and build a solid foundation for our country's energy security. Through the responsible and innovative utilization of abundant resources, we are determined to ignite profound and positive changes in the lives of our people, especially our sisters and brothers in the barn. Let me note, however, that our partnership extends beyond energy resource, far beyond energy resource development. We will explore and seize every developmental opportunity that will empower the people of the barn and enhance their quality of life. Let us therefore wholeheartedly embark on this journey with determination and goodwill. We must recognize that through our unity and our commitment, we wield the ability and the power to shape our nation's destiny. May this momentum signing mark the dawning of a new era, where the barn becomes a shining beacon of sustainable development in Mindanao and the rest of the Philippines. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Mabuhay ang Bangsamoro. Mabuhay ang Pilipinas. Thank you, Mr. President. At this point, may we request the President to kindly grant us a photo opportunity. First, may we call in front the signatories of the circular, Cabinet Secretaries, BARM Chief Minister, and Joint Chair of the Intergovernmental Relations Body. IEB members from the national government side, please stand by and prepare. Thank you. You may now take your seats. Next, IEB members from the national government side, you may now proceed in front. Again, IEB members from the national government side, you may now proceed in front. IEB members from the Bangsamoro government side, please stand by and prepare. Thank you. You may now take your seats. Next, IEB members from the Bangsamoro government side, you may now proceed in front. The first set of the technical working group members, please stand by and prepare. Thank you. You may now take your seats. Next, the first set of the technical working group members, you may now proceed in front. The second set of the technical working group members, please stand by and prepare.
Thank you. Next, the second set of the technical working group members, you may now proceed in front. DOE and MENRE officials, please stand by and prepare. Thank you. You may now be seated. Next, DOE and MENRE officials, you may now proceed in front. Thank you. You may now be seated. Thank you, Mr. President, for granting us a photo opportunity. That concludes our program. Thank you, Mr. President, for gracing the event today. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcus, Jr. We would like to request everyone to please remain seated until the President has left the venue.